Hi there, Serial Trader here. Let's have a look at Morgan Stanley, ticker symbol MS. And this one caught my eye just because we have our nice uh, textbook zigzag uh, correction to the downside, just a nice ABC down, three wave decline. Uh, and then, okay, so we had this high back in March. Uh, looks like the actual date um, was uh, March 12th. And so then we had our five down for A. We had a corrective bounce up in B. Then we had a nice five down in C. And if you go in on the smaller time frames, uh, you can certainly get the subdivisions out of there. That works no problem. And then we came and made a near equality relationship between A and C. You know how much I love to see that happen so often. Uh, so equality was at 46.15. We went as low as 46.28. So loving that. Then we had a nice move up. And if you go in closer again, even on this daily, you can you can still pick it out. You have a one up, two down, three, four, five for probably initial wave one up. We had a nice deep pullback in wave two, maybe an ABC down for two, right? Also bouncing off this uh, median line, which I like. And I suspect, I haven't even looked at this yet, but if we did a fib pull, I suspect we'll get a pretty nice uh, fib relationship here on the wave two decline. And what do we get? Yeah, nice deep wave too. So just below the 786 uh, retracement. So that looks great. Uh, I'll just clean up those other levels. And now we're coming out, possibly starting uh, a third wave. And it looks like we've just breached above the upper boundary line of this uh, corrective channel. And now perhaps coming down just to test it one last time before uh, hopefully launching off here. So this one's looking good. Uh, definitely kind of my idealized trade setup. Just a nice, simple zigzag decline. Easy to identify. Very clear level to define your risk against. So this one, so far all I've done is I've added this as a stock position just to my uh, longer term uh, retirement accounts. But I'm also looking at this uh, from a shorter term training perspective as well. If I can uh, get a piece of this wave three with some call options, that'd be nice, although I haven't entered anything yet. Although I'm looking to do so very soon because, uh, you know, we just ended uh, the month of August and we'll be starting the month of September on Tuesday after a long weekend. Monday, there's no trading. And often you see these things sort of kick off once they've been primed up here, coiled up. You see them kick off near the end of a month or the beginning of a new month. That's a tendency you definitely notice. So this is really looking good here from a longer term kind of hold perspective for an entry here, also from a shorter term training perspective, I'm liking it. So we'll certainly keep our eyes on this one, but I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. This is definitely on my uh, you know, top watch list at the moment. And like I said, I did add a uh, long term uh, position of stock to uh, one of the retirement accounts there. All right, Serial Trader signing off.